I'm here with the uh, bike, still working on it. Uh, I'm gonna do a speed test with it, see how fast it goes before I just do the bench test, make sure the motor worked. I still have to mount the batteries, the brake. That's pretty much it. Um, and then figure out what I'm gonna do with it. So here's what I'm thinking. Here's the bike. What I'm planning on doing before I get started with this is just leaving the whole thing open. So I'm going to place two batteries, two volt batteries right in here. Controller's going to go in here. This is all going to be covered. It's going to be painted matte black. Batteries come out to about here. I'm going to put go up, meet here, and have fairings built into here. It's going to hug this here, so all of this is going to be open. And so the bike is going to look like it has no motor. I'm going to black it out, just get matte black finish on the front, leave it as is, close up the holes. I'm going to throw on... These tail lights are going to go in here. I'm going to fiberglass them in along with the backing. Um, but yeah, this is all going to be fiberglassed in, just fat, flat black. The fairing, like I said, is going to come to here, come straight down and around and meet here. This will all be covered up black. On the front of that fairing, if you can picture it, I'm going to have... LED lights just going down, lighting up the road all in front of it and lighting up that front tire. So without any more delay, I'm um, running 96 volts. Actually, I'm at 100 volts right now. So I still have it hooked up to this voltmeter or this little throttle here. Uh, we're gonna do a speed test on it, see what it does without any load. This is going to be the whole setup. I figured out how to get that. I'm pre-wiring this, so eventually, if I end up getting the kits and sending them out and selling them out, um, everything's going to be pre-wired, so you won't have to figure it out. It was a pain in the ass. So, let's see what, uh, with no load, how fast we can get it. <laughs> Try one more time. So there you have it. I believe that 103 to 110 kilometers an hour. I could be wrong, but I think that's around like 65, 70 miles an hour. Um, so I'm assuming with the 8K motor, that's the top speed on it. Um, if you come over here, this is the second build I'm gonna do. This is the bigger bike. Uh, this will be packed with probably close to 150 amp hours, but running 12K motor, that's supposed to be able to hit um, closer to 100 to like 115. So 
I'm going to uh, have this one done next. I'm just waiting on the motor to come in. Currently, QS Motors is moving to a new facility. Uh, they have like a three month delay. I'm um, looking at bringing close to 12 to 15, 12 kilowatt motors to the States so they're ready to ship out immediately. Um, as you can see down here with this hodgepodge of spaghetti wires, um, I'm going to be fitting them all with the direct connectors so nobody has to do any wiring. Everything comes pre-wired. Uh, including the turn signals, the front lights, um, everything. So once I get this done, uh, I'm probably going to start building these for fun just because I like doing it. And if anyone wants to purchase some motors uh, or complete kits, you're welcome to do that too. Um, for me, like I said when I started this channel, it's more about just having projects that people can do on their own. Uh, without having to worry about do I know how to do it or I can't tell you how many people that I talk to that start projects but never finish them so hopefully this will encourage people to finish their own project once I once I get done this one which should be really soon this is just a teaser I have the quad building I'm doing that is going to be insane so Quadzilla went up in flames, um, not because of the batteries, uh, but it um, got destroyed, got it back, and I'm pretty much going nuts with it. I have a Banshee rear end, I've got a 12 inch swing arm, I got a six inch um, widening kit on it, all new shocks all the way around, all new bearings, um, the motor I'm putting on it is the same motor that's on the Zero. So this is going to be absolutely insane. I'm putting street slicks on it. Um, it's just going to be the most badass quad ever. So you guys watch me build the first one before it got destroyed. And you'll uh, watch me build the Phoenix. Let it rise from the ashes. So... Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great night and like and subscribe. Leave some comments down below. If anyone has any questions, feel free to send them in and I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully with this whole thing done. Have a good one.